start actually a fresh recording. I do not have a fuel scoop. That should be good. Oh, and this time I have to remember to pick up limpets. Okay. And I am plotted to see them. Okay, I'm going to start in three, two, one, go. So there was a race years ago called the Bucky Bubble, and somebody managed to plot a Bucky Ball with 60 points in the bubble, <laughs> um, which was just absurd. But that also then took 60 bookmarks, and back then you only had 120 bookmarks. So it used up most of my bookmarks just doing the race. Uh, and I tried to leave them for the longest time because it made this really pretty pattern. Uh, but the uh, the script a script that could read from a list would have been very useful for that one. Yeah. It's weird. This time the front marker moved before the wing marker when you jumped. Um, last weird. time I actually paid attention to the wing marker jumped first. It's not a perfect plot. The galaxy that's map good enough. The wing marker moved first, and this time the friend marker moved first. That's very odd to me that they don't update at the same time. Yeah, or at least in the same order every time, right? Right. Well, at the same time is a little odd, but they're different systems, so maybe they're updating from different places. But the fact, yeah, that they don't move in the same order each time is doubly... Now it's the wing I can post again. It's just trying to confuse you. It's yeah, it's the spaghetti code. Mm -hmm. How could you see how much fuel you had left? Uh, that's in the status file, and I haven't even seen that. Oh, the status file. It's not in game. One liner to display the fuel levels. <laughs> I see. Because I was curious when you turned jumping how close I became to running out of fuel. Right. And, um, well, let's just say that the closest I had was like. 10 kilo in the main tank and enough in the res reservoir to make it to the secondary star before running out of fuel completely. 10 kilo is a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was quite close. Okay, I am one jump out. I am on the correct fire group this time. Excellent. And I still have wing lock on. There we go. And dropping. And here I am. Oh no. We It's such a pretty stream. Yeah. It does feel a bit sad I'm that the sure lim limpets just get left behind now. Yes. <laughs>
I feel like I should get little Alter Nerd Drive sponsorship stickers. I'm using your live split stuff. Now I'm using your refueling services. I just need some some advertising plastered on. Right. Now can the cobra turn faster? Oh yeah. And yeah, super cruise the cobra Are can turn way faster. Yeah. I will not be there for a while. Services. Advanced maintenance restock. Nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it, confirm. And launch. And plot to LHS. Type 9 Heavy is still there. Interesting. Must just be someone chilling on the pad. Where you have ships? With random vulture in the I think that was a Sigil or something. That makes sense. Yeah, I have... I try and keep mine clean, and I'm now I think I have them... Like, 90% of my ships are parked on Shay's... Shay's fleet carrier. Korea? Oh, Korea. I think the Korea was a CG reward, too. <laughs> like, they give out ships as a CG reward? Yeah, sometimes you get free ships, as in... Um, the entire thing is worth zero credits, as in huh. no rebuy for the whole... But I can oh, never be that's cool. Yeah. I remember when they had discounted Corvettes and Fed ships as a reward, so I bought like two of each just in case, just in case I ever would use them. And I've used the Corvette. Yeah, actually, I could actually change my Corvette hole there, but I was too lazy to buy another Warcraft thing in the New York. Yeah. Especially because the engineering mats are effectively worth more than the credits, I would say. So. Time wise. Mm -hmm. I am now on my way to NLTT. Four jumps out. Cool, cool. Let's see which Maka moves first. It's our little mini game. Yes. <laughs> It's the friend marker. <laughs> friendship no, is more marker. powerful. <laughs> it is cool when you get wing ship drive. Uh, I don't know if you heard of Iridium Wing, but back when the game first launched, they escorted explorers and stuff, and we would have a whole wing kind of jumping together and plotting course off each other, and that was really fun. 
It wasn't quite synchronized jumps, but it was close to it. I know that exploration expeditions do those big synchronized jumps, and those look really cool. I missed the descent boss too. Mass jump over the mm -hmm. because I was stuck on the bug when I shot that crash and I loved it. Oh no! That was fun. That sucks. Uh, this time the wing marker was first and the friend marker still hasn't moved. <laughs> the friend marker is still gone? No, it is. <laughs> I wonder if they're just desynced? I don't even know. Yeah, wing is probably peer to peer and friend is somehow falls on the moon. The server, maybe? No, the friend not this. No, <laughs> so, I mean, the, the only educated guess I have is that you update, your client updates your position on the service at the start of the jump. So if I happen to then pull your position, I get the friend marker position, but you only send me your wing position via peer-to-peer -peer once the jump is done. Huh. That would be my dedicated force. It's from that side. So it depends on whether the stuff through the server goes faster than the peer-to-peer? -peer? Yes, basically. And the timing between the um, jump and my client updating the friend's position. I was going to say I'm on the final jump, but you already know that. <laughs> yes. I can see you in some others. Oh, I can see that you are in Dropping some now. Okay. okay, it's definitely not range. Because so you were within range in the last three. Now that was speedy, because I was able to spool. Oh, and I don't even have time to shoot you. <laughs> it's so speedy. Um, huh. Because you've got enough controllers to control them all. Maybe it could be some of them reloading? No, because they don't... Do they... Mm. Yeah, the weird thing is that I have... Currently activated is one size seven, mm -hmm. two size five, and two size one. So why are three stragglers around? I guess it could. That's weird, right? I would expect one or two, but not three, if it were the wrong right. size. Right. Right. So eight are coming out of there, and then four, and then eight, two and four, four, one, one. Eight, four, four, one. Are you, are you firing all 18? Yes. Okay. I'm holding the so button down until everything's empty. Right. So you're sending more than and I can is, actually it take. It 15 at like the exact same cadence and then the three stragglers at the end that take like triple the time to go on. And it shouldn't at all be based on how much space I have in my ship because it'll just pour fuel into a ship even if it's full. No, no. That, that definitely is irrelevant. Okay. Um... Okay, so anyway, you finish your race first. Now I've got to I've got to think. Because so spending brain power <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, the idea is that the Olympic controllers can only shoot at a certain rate, but that rate overlaps because they're all shooting at once, and so the last three. To come out of that size seven controller uh, are coming out slower than the others because it's only at that point that you notice the spacing, right? It's the last four, but if the size eight shoots first, quote unquote, right, it would be the last three that you notice, right? Right, and it does shoot first. I've I've watched on my ship, and it's the larger ones that go first. 
So that would line okay, up. So that would be an explanation, yes, that it's limited rate of fire of a single pistol. So basically, I could take out my T9 with two <laughs> size sevens and see if there are six stragglers. <laughs> right. Or if they just didn't fire as fast overall. Or, or if you meant two size sevens in addition to the fives and the and the yeah, of course. and the ones. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Or I could disable the size fives on this and just use the ones and the seven. Right, because then you should start getting stragglers sooner. Yes. Let's see if I can find an NPC to try that on. <laughs> Science. All right. Once again on the last jump, oh, oh, this doesn't get the 15 minute bonus, that's a bummer. Because I'm at 15 minutes 45 seconds now on the last jump. I don't think I can break 17, but it... Okay, when you said oh, I expected something like, oh, I miscalculated. Oh, no, no, no. Last jump. <laughs> I've, I've run all these before. I've practiced. Not that I wouldn't mess up something like that. Like last night, I messed up a plotting thing and lost 30 seconds. Okay. And a compost station is so far away. 400 light seconds. So the refueling with a friend is almost definitely faster, but it makes much more of a difference for the other run, because here I'm running like 10 to 15 seconds faster, whereas on the other run I was a whole minute faster. Well that's because I usually couldn't do that second stop without messing something up. Oh yeah, of course, of course. The, the two stops here are way more spaced out than right. the first and second on the other run. Yeah. yeah. And also because yeah, I didn't, definitely the size. I didn't have the range on my crate because my crate only it wasn't fully engineered, and so it only had maybe uh, forty-five light year range. Hey, I'm still recording, so I actually have done science because the recording exists. Right. <laughs> so the first four went out fast. Size eight, size one, size one, size eight. Yeah. And then the other six was struggling. So I was right, I think. Yeah, it is fire rate. Of Science Which is done. weird, because that means there's a fire rate for the whole ship. And a fire rate of the controller. Basically, because you're not firing two controllers at exactly the same time. Yeah. They are staggered. Which I... also means that, that more smaller controllers are better than fewer large controllers. It's true. <laughs> Okay, so it's something to save another half a second on the next uh, <laughs> <laughs> the next occasion. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think that would save an appreciable amount of time, but maybe that half no. second. <laughs> I made it. Nice. I had a crummy landing. It was my fault. <laughs> but it was still very fast. Yeah, That's good for me. I am happy. Cool. <laughs> then I can uh, switch out the thing back. <laughs> from, from very odd one to something slightly <laughs> more I normal. Literally only, <laughs> I literally only replaced the AFMU with a 16 ton cargo rack. That's, right. that's true. But it is rare that you would need that much cargo. Mm. Yeah, also mm. it's kind of weird to have a uh, size 4 corrosion resistant cargo rack in a 6 slot. A six slot. <laughs> Why corrosion resistant? Just because it's what you had? <laughs> yeah, I had that stored of the carrier for whenever I need to carry corrosion. <laughs> I see. Cargo, corrosive cargo. What, 
man, have you been following the storyline with the Thargoids? I don't, and so I have no clue what's happening. And I have some idea that maybe the galaxy is going to die, but I don't know. I just race. I don't really have an opinion on what's happening right now, but I'm uh, okay. following it. Um, I can't actually follow it myself because all of that is Odyssey only, so... Uh, yeah, I don't have Odyssey either. I've thought about getting it, but everything I've heard has not been... not convinced me to. <laughs> yes. Or rather, no. <laughs> exactly. Okay.